Hi friends, welcome back. Today let's discuss on phototransistors as a part of our series of sessions on sensors and transducers. Phototransistors are either triterminal, which are emitter, base and collector, or biterminal, emitter and collector, semiconductor devices, which have a light sensitive base region. Although all transistors exhibit light sensitive nature, these are specially designed and optimized for photo applications. These are made of diffusion or non implantation and have much larger collector and base regions in comparison with ordinary transistors. These devices can be either homojunction structured or heterojunction structured, as we see in this picture. In the case of homogeneous phototransistors, the entire device will be made of a single material type, either silicon or germanium. However, to increase their efficiency, the phototransistors can be made of non-identical materials of group 3, 5 materials like gallium arsenide on either side of the PN junction, leading to heterogeneous devices. Nevertheless, homojunction devices are more often used in comparison with the heterojunction devices as they are economical. The circuit symbol for NPN phototransistor is shown here, which is nothing but a transistor with or without base lead, with two arrows pointing towards the base, indicating its sensitivity to light. Similar symbolic representation holds, well, even in the case of PNP phototransistors, with the only change being the arrow at emitter point in, inside up, instead of out. Now let's see how a phototransistor works. The behavior of phototransistors is identical to that of normal transistors, except the fact that here the effect brought, brought out by the base voltage will be experienced due to the incident light. This can be made clear by analyzing the following characteristics. The characteristics of phototransistors are similar to those of normal transistors except that they have a current replaced by light intensity. This means that even these devices have three operating regions, that is cutoff, active, and saturation, like normal transistors. This further implies that the phototransistors can be used for either switching, cutoff, and saturation mode dependent applications for amplification, just like ordinary transistors. The phototransistors can be configured into two different configurations like common collector and common emitter, depending on the terminal, which is common between the input and output terminals, similar to normal transistors. A small reverse saturation current called dark current flows through the transistor, even in the absence of light, whose value increases with an increase in the value of temperature, a property identical to that exhibited by the ordinary transistors. Phototransistors are prone to permanent damage due to breakdown if the voltage applied across the collector emitter junction increases beyond its breakdown voltage, just in the case, as in the case of normal transistors. Generally, in the case of phototransistor circuits, the collector terminal will be connected to the supply voltage and the output is obtained at the emitter terminal, while the base terminal, if at all present, will be left unconnected. Under this condition, if light is made to fall on the base region of the phototransistor, then it results in the generation of electron hole pairs, which give rise to base current, nothing but the photo current under the influence of applied electric field. This further results in the flow of emitter current through the device, resulting in the process of amplification. This is because here the magnitude of the photo current developed will be proportional to the luminance and will be amplified by the gain of the transistor, leading to a larger collector current. The output of the phototransistor depends on various factors like wavelength of the incident light, area of the light exposed collector base region, and DC current gain of the transistor. Further, the characteristics of a particular phototransistor can be expressed in terms of its luminous sensitivity defined as the ratio of photoelectric current to the incident luminous flux. Then the spectral response which decides the longest wavelength, which can be used as the sensitivity of the phototransistors, which is a function of wavelength. 
photoelectric gain, which indicates its efficiency of converting light into an amplified electrical signal. Then the time constant, which influences its response time. However, it is important to note that the speed of response and the phototransistor gain are inversely proportional to each other, meaning which one decreases if the other increases. To see the advantages of the phototransistor, which include simple, compact, and less expensive, higher current, higher gain, and faster response times in comparison with photodiodes, it is sensitive to large number of sources including incandescent bulbs, fluorescent bulbs, neon bulbs, lasers, flames, and sunlight, highly reliable and temporarily stable, less noisy when compared to avalanche photodiodes. It's available in wide variety of packages, including epoxy coated, transfer molded, and surface mounted. And if you see the disadvantage of phototransistors, cannot handle high voltages if made of silicon. It is prone to electric spikes and surges. It is affected by electromagnetic energy. It does not permit any flow of electrons unlike electron tubes. Poor high frequency response due to large base current, base collector capacitance. And then finally, it cannot detect low levels of light better than the photodiode. Then comes the applications of the phototransistor, which is used in numerous applications like object detection, encoder sensing, automatic electrical control systems such as light detectors, security systems, punch card readers, relays, computer logic circuitry, counting systems, smoke detectors, laser ranging finding, finding devices, optical remote controls, CD players, astronomy, night vision systems, infrared receivers, printers and copiers, cameras and shuttle, shutter controllers in the cameras, and then finally the level comparators. In all these things, phototransistors are find very, very wide applications. So that's all. Thank you very much for your time. See you next.